what's happening guys welcome back to scents of south jersey with me kellen for another fragrance review today we're taking a look at a fragrance from the mid 2000s we're talking 2007 from the house of dana classic fragrances at least that's who distributes it now and this is the discontinued english leather black flanker so as we always do, we're going to break the fragrance down into five parts, taking a look at its box and bottle presentation. I'll go over the fragrance's notes, try to tell you which ones I pick up on, talk about its performance and my experience wearing the fragrance, and then give it my overall thoughts and opinions, and then its rating. So uh, if it's your first time here and you haven't subscribed yet and you enjoy these type of individual classic men's fragrance reviews and the occasional list, make sure to subscribe. If you have an Instagram, check out my Instagram at Sense of South Jersey. I post pictures of all my fragrances, daily send to the day stories, and then there's usually news and updates on the channel like when the next video is gonna come out. Um, if you are interested in champagne and you enjoy TikTok and you have a TikTok, follow Sabro88, that's my page. And for all of you guys that are looking for some rare and discount continued hard to find fragrances or just fragrances in general that you may have seen on my channel you've seen me review things that I've enjoyed I've reviewed but I just don't find myself wearing I have listed for sale so other people can pick them up and enjoy them too and the um page is just the initials of the channel SOSJ. You can search classic men's fragrances, vintage fragrances, things that you know I'm selling, and it'll pop up and you can you know peruse the, the all the listings that I have. So um, anyway, let's take a look at English leather black. Okay, as usual, we're gonna take a look at the presentation. Let's take a look at the box here to English Leather Black. Cologne spray, and you got Dana. So this is a 100 ml bottle and 3.4 ounces. So English Leather is written in, you know, with like silver with that kind of red outline to it. And you got what looks like, I don't know what this is, a saddle or some sort of leather satchel or something like that, cologne spray. So I guess it's an eau de cologne. English Leather on the top, English Leather Black with Dana in cursive. On the back, there's a funny little blurb, which I will read to you guys here. And then there is your barcode. Um, on the back here, you can read this too. So English leather black, dark and mysterious, the essence of temptation, a sensual and daring scent for those who are bold enough to express their own unique style. Right, right, right. So you open it up and there is a French wrapper, believe it or not. Now the bottle here is, you know, a glass when it's like kind of got this matte black finish. You can see the sticker there, size and concentration. And this is made in the USA, distributed by Dana. Um, and that's in Deerfield Beach, Florida. So cool wooden cap. You can hold it by the cap. It's actually on there really snug. It's never going to fall off. You have to really twist it. And then which shows the cheap sprayer here with the crimp. Let's take a look at the distribution. Pretty good distribution for that um, sprayer, you know, for a cheapo sprayer, but the wooden cap is pretty cool. So that is the presentation for English Leather Black. Okay, the notes for English Leather, the black flank or English Leather Black. In the top, you have bergamot and green notes. And then in the middle, you have leather and rosemary. And then in the base, you have woody notes, musk and sandalwood. So not a lot of notes listed for English Leather Black. Um, I really don't know what I pick up on. I'm going to get into what I think it smells like in just a moment, but those are the notes that are listed and I couldn't tell you what's in there. All right. So the performance for English leather black, I'd say I got the time that I wore this no more than three hours. And I did take note. I did notice it. It is, it's an eau de cologne. Um, I think right. Eau de cologne. Yeah. It says cologne spray. So no more than three hours for this. That's it. Okay, it's time for my overall thoughts and opinions on English Leather Black. Here, let's get the opening here one more time. So, this was recently discontinued from what I've heard. It's been recommended to me on two or three occasions, but one more recently and the subscriber, again, thank you for subscribing, uh, was like, hey, it's been discontinued. You know, eventually the prices are going to shoot up. You should check it out. It's a fougere. It's a barbershop style, blah, 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 blah. So that's why I bought it. So I went ahead and got it. Um, and let me tell you, when you spray this on, oh, English leather black is in the opening, a nice cool blast of alcohol with a trip to the particle board section of Home Depot. And then when it dries down, you're greeted with a nice Saturday morning stroll through the tire section of Pep Boys where you're hit in the face with the smell of rubber and used coffee filters that have been previously dipped in wood varnish. So what I'm trying to say is that English Leather Black is absolute dog shit. 
This is one of the worst fragrances I've ever had the displeasure of smelling. I wore it oh, I wore it one time to work and the whole day I was just feeling like I hated myself. I just wanted to go home and shower. Uh, I, I wore it because I had it at the gym and I could still sort of get hints of it on my clothing. Um, skin, it doesn't last that long. That's probably the best part about it, how its performance is, uh, is pretty bad, but it will last a little bit longer on clothes. And it, this stuff is so bad. It's no, no, you know, no, no doubt it was discontinued. It, it's so awful. Um, I don't know how anybody could enjoy this. I was reading reviews on Fragranska. It's got a cola vibe. Oh, it's this, it's, it's dark, it's mysterious. Like this stuff is so bad. This is one of the worst things I've ever smelled. I would prefer Zeno over this. I'd go buy, if this were like the only two fragrances left in the world, I would go and I would buy like a lifetime supply Zeno and I would deal with that burnt pancake smell over like the dirty mechanic floor of this stuff. The English leather black is awful. Um, English leather black discontinued. The only thing it reminds me of is just like a black trash can at work where I'd want to throw it away and never use it again. The wooden cap is cool though. Okay, it's time for my overall ratings for English Leather Black by Dana. Uh, presentation wise, I will say uh, I like the drugstore look to it. That's exactly what it reminds me of. Something you'd see at CVS behind the counter or Walgreens or whatever. Uh, the wooden cap is cool. There is an old school look to it, which I will appreciate. So I'll compliment that. Um, the performance is bad. It's three hours. But again, that's the best part that it's not a big performer on your skin. Um, the scent is absolutely horrible. It's a complete zero. And the overall rating is two out of 10. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for me for my review of English Leather Black, one of the worst fragrances I've ever smelled in my entire life. This stuff is really, really, really horrible. So um, let me hear from you guys in the comment section. Do you agree with me or do you think I'm wrong? Do you think I'm way out of line? Am I going to get crucified for this like I am with Zeno? One time someone said that Zeno, my review of Zeno, was the biggest mistake in my channel. And that person, that think that's so funny that they're that bothered by that. But who knows? This could be the even bigger mistake. But the only mistake I see here is from Dana. Come on, Dana. You guys can do better than this. But that's probably why you discontinued it. Uh, anyway, it's horrible. Don't, don't buy it. It's absolute trash. Let me know in the comment section. Do you guys own this? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Uh, you guys know I always appreciate all the interaction. I always appreciate you watching the videos and hanging out with me. Make sure to subscribe. Check out the Instagram page and uh, follow the TikTok and check out the Mercari listings. And I will see you all in the next video. I hope I don't ever see this again though.